In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can upload a CV of contacts and then create a batch campaign so you can call them all with your assistant. So the first step towards creating your batch campaign is you're going to want to go to the contacts tab on the left hand side and select import. Next, it's from CSV. If you want to download an example CSV, you can do that using this button. But if you have a CSV ready to go with some contacts in, you can just select it through browse files. This is the one we're going to use. So in this CSV, we have three columns, the phone, email, name. These are completely fictitious, so don't try calling any of them. They don't work. Once you've selected it, you're going to see it uploading. And we're going to have these three columns here, phone, name, and email. Check the box and import the contacts. In the background, you can just see them being populated here. We're going to give it a second to upload. Next, we're going to close down this window, and now we have a nice contact list full of phone numbers, names, and email addresses that we can start reaching out to. What you're going to want to do is actually select all of these that you've just imported and add a tag to them. So we can bring them back in a campaign later. Test tutorial 2. And then press apply changes. Now we have a tag applied to each contact, which we can use as our filter to identify who it is we're going to want to call. Next we're going to bring open the assistant that we're going to use. In this case it's going to be one of our templated ones called Jessica and we're going to click on deployment. From deployment select batch, new campaign, give it a name, tutorial campaign 2, select one of your phone numbers Click select contacts. Now you see we have one with a different tag and then our test tutorial two, which we just created. We're going to click the filter and we're going to select the tag that we want to filter by. Click select all in the top left of this column, then press select 24 contacts. After you've done that, select the launch date. Let's say tomorrow. We're going to use the time zone that we want to make sure they get called at the right time. Select the starting hours, maybe 10 a.m. and the end hours is going to be 11 a.m. and press create campaign. The next you're going to get this pop-up. Do you want to call your contact? Upon confirmation your campaign will be launched and it'll be scheduled with 24 contacts starting on Saturday the 3rd of August at 10 a.m. That's correct. And by checking this box, you confirm that you have received permission to call these people and press call contacts. If you wanted to do skip for now, you're going to see your campaign at the top of your list and you can press launch campaign and ready to go. And that brings up the modal again. So you can activate it. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and catch you on the next one.